Well, hello there, friends. So today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to spray dye or paint vinyl and leather the professional way with this right here. This here costs um, a lot more than that dupla color that I'm seeing all over YouTube. I know there's another video out there. It's gotten over a million views. It's a video of a mechanic, not an upholstery guy. Uh, spray painting with dupli color and you know what there's a, a few things that I agree with and a few things that I don't agree with I'm an upholstery guy not a mechanic I don't build transmissions and I'm not gonna make a video on how to build a transmission but I will make this video here showing you some uh, interior upholstery stuff how to spray dye these plastic and vinyl parts so I'm working on the 77 Corvette and there's about 40 pieces I have to do in that interior. So I'm not going to bore you with all those pieces. I'm just going to show you three basic pieces. This is a piece of a dash. Passenger side. So it's also got vinyl here as well as plastic. And got this piece right here which is part of the center console. Mm -hmm. And this is a... A pillar for the windshield so to start this stuff right here the SEM brand okay I've been using this stuff for about 40 years okay so um, I know that it's uh, real reliable the thing is is that you have to prepare your parts first that's the 100% main takeaway from this video I hope that you get so we are going to do prep Okay, we're not going to do degrease like in the other video. He talks about degreasing. He doesn't really talk about prepping, but he does show it. Okay, I got to give him credit for that. Okay, he shows using the acetone. Okay, but he calls the acetone, you know, for degreasing. But really what the acetone is, it gives something for this paint here to adhere to. Okay, like when you go to paint a car, you got to scuff and scratch the old paint for the new paint to adhere and that's exactly what we're doing with the acetone okay now this stuff here it what it really is it's a lacquer paint in a can okay it's really hard to find lacquer paint you know if you go to Home Depot or wherever you're gonna find spray cans okay and but there, it's almost always going to be enamel okay so one of the other things that we do with the prep work with the acetone is you take off any old oils or greases the silicone based spray that everybody sprays on the vinyl and it's kind of sounds like armor fall so anyway we're not you know people have used that stuff through the years okay we're talking 1977 here and guaranteed somebody probably sprayed that all over this vinyl and plastic so that's why we have to wipe it all off with the acetone get rid of all of that because what if we don't we're going to get what's called a fish eye where the paint won't stick and there'll be like little circles all over the place um it's funny you know if if this has happened to you you're probably laughing right now because you know what i'm talking about so just like always nothing is sponsored on my channel i pay for everything i don't go around begging for sponsorships so one thing that's never mentioned in other videos that i noticed they never talk about the longevity of spray anything that you spray on vinyl or plastic especially the plastic so here's the truth okay ask me how I know about this I discovered you know because I had learned something 35 or 40 years ago myself so anything that you spray on vinyl or plastic is not permanent you hear that it's not permanent so it will scratch okay so it's nice to have a color like maybe black where if it does scratch it's easy to touch up okay but don't count on this being a permanent solution the other thing is if you're changing colors say your your part was originally a light gray and you want to paint it black okay it looks good for a while okay but you know what the second it scratches you're gonna see gray a big gray scratch next to your nice beautiful black painted piece so like I said it, you know you've been warned so first things first what we're going to do is we're going to start with this stuff right here acetone 
Okay, this is not only for just degreaser, like I said. This is to help the new paint adhere to the vinyl and plastics. So what we're going to do is get the rag nice and wet. Okay, we're going to go ahead and rub it down. Make sure it goes on wet. thing about acetone is it dries quickly. So don't worry about putting too much on. The other thing, when you're using acetone, it's always a good idea to use some kind of rubber glove. If you don't, it's going to dry out your skin. And your other half isn't going to like that. Here's proof how sh how harsh this stuff is. Okay, that's why we're wearing these gloves. Look what it did to that glove right there. And like within five minutes. So I'm working outside, so I don't want a bunch of overspray inside the shop. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be spraying on the perimeter on the outside and all the hidden places, the back sides if there's any, because we don't want to miss any of those, because sometimes they'll be seen. The first coat is going to be the mist coat or the tack coat, same just like if um, you're painting a car. You always do your first tack coat first. What that does is it gives the paint something to adhere to. Also with that first tack coat it helps to prevent runs. Unless if you're in a cold winter climate, because it's lacquer, it sets up really fast, regardless of really the temperature. Unless if you're in Detroit in December or something like that. So really, by the time I'm done painting these other two pieces, on the first coat, It'll be time for the second coat on that first piece that I did. Overlapping strokes. Just like that. With like a semi-gloss finish is what you're looking for. Not too heavy, not too thin. As you can see, there's really good coverage with that first coat. It looks pretty good, but you know what? Uh, being that it's lacquer, it doesn't go on very thick. So it goes on really thin. So this is the second coat. 
So this is really like real time. I'm not really waiting. It's about 75 degrees out here now. Light humidity. Got a breeze blowing out here. That's why I'm spraying a little bit closer. So my material's not gonna just float away. So that's the second coat right there. I could probably just leave it like that if I wanted to. That one there is done. And that one there is done. Well, there we go. Nice and easy. So one thing that I want you to know is that this isn't rocket science. I've seen other videos where they go into long explanations of why you should be doing this and doing that and stuff like that. Don't get brain hurt, okay? Just follow what I'm doing here and it'll work 100% of the time. It's tried. Two to three coats, I guess, is all this probably took. What helps is when you're painting about the same color that it was before. That helps a lot. Probably more coats if you're changing colors. I know there's tons of videos out there that have the dupli color. Okay, but this is the stuff right here. The dupli color, you know, you can probably find uh, just about anywhere maybe. I don't know. I've never had to buy it. But this stuff here, I know that it comes from my upholstery supplier. Uh, but I have seen it on Amazon. Sorry, there's no links in the description for Amazon for this Sam Spray because I am not an affiliate and I won't get any commissions. There's also a lot of videos out there where people are telling you to use rubbing alcohol to prep your surfaces. Bad, bad, bad. Rubbing alcohol does nothing to promote adhesion. That's why we're using the acetone. That's bad advice. In one example, the guy made a video where two years later, showing his interior, and it was a mess. It was all scratched up because he used rubbing alcohol, thinking that was going to help the paint to stick, the duplicolor, to stick to his parts. And you know what? N nothing stuck.